A few weeks from now, Liverpool will be given a great chance to add to their European collection and continue enjoying a meteoric rise under Jurgen Klopp. The German has revolutionised the way the Reds play football, and there's a reason why many people consider them one of the best sides on the planet at the moment. The manner in which they approach games, and the relentless energy with which they bully their opponents, is something we've not seen for ages, and is definitely quite a sight to behold. Under Klopp, the Reds finally ended their long wait for domestic success, and have also tasted continental success. However, this is just the beginning, especially after the German tactician decided to extend his contract at Anfield until 2026. This means that the former Borussia Dortmund man could potentially offer the Merseyside Giants four more years of prosperity. However, nearly four years ago, things could have been even better and we'd be talking about a Liverpool side that won the Champions League twice in five years, which would have been quite the achievement if you ask us. But as fate would have it, things did not exactly go according to plan in the 2018 Champions League final. This was a match that started horribly wrong for the Reds. Sergio Ramos decided to take Salah's arm with him as he fell to the ground, and the Egyptian forward was later seen leaving the field in tears. But that was not it. Little did we know that the biggest impact on the final would be made by their 24-year-old German goalkeeper, Loris Karius. The German had never been a star, but was good enough to play for the Reds. On May 26, 2018, Karius made history for all the wrong reasons by committing two huge blunders which cost his team two goals and effectively ending any hope of springing a surprise against favourite Real Madrid. On the evening of the game, it was Karius's presence in goal that caused a lot of concern. Designated the weakest link of a Liverpool side that had all the attacking wherewithal, the former Mainz man was definitely under a lot of pressure and had never been in a match of such magnitude. During the 2016 Europa League final, it was Simon Mignolet who kept his place, but during the 2017-18 season, it was Karius who stole the Belgian's role. Karius' nightmare of an evening started just before his first howler. In the 49th minute, he competed for an aerial ball with Sergio Ramos. The Spaniard accidentally elbowed the German, who screamed at the referee, but play was allowed to continue. Fortunately for him, nothing became of that move. But 10 minutes later, the first moment of madness happened with serious consequences. Ball in hand, the Reds' shot stopper had every opportunity to observe the players around him. There was only Karim Benzema who was in front of him. But as if his brain had ceased to function for a few seconds, Karius rolled the ball towards the French striker who was never going to deny such a gift on such a big occasion. And then it was Gareth Bale who got the better of Karius. The Welsh forward was in decent form throughout the season and was always going to be a threat. However, his first shot of the match, although it was a very powerful one, should have been dealt with. Instead, Karius once again allowed the shot to find the back of the net. In tears at the final whistle, Karius headed to the Reds supporters to apologise for his mistakes that cost his team a title or at least a better chance to win it. Following the match, the German showed a lot of courage by presenting himself to the journalists and owned up to his mistakes. That was the evening that changed everything for Karius. Goalkeepers already have it rough. They spend most of the time in goal with themselves. A goalkeeper's role is that of the last bastion, a thankless role that is often forgotten when things are going well. However, the moment things go south, goalkeepers are exposed and criticised. Even before the game, a lot of people were not too sure about Karius. But then again, it wasn't as if Mignolet was any better. After the match, a lot of people showed their solidarity with the distraught keeper, with Oliver Kahn admitting that nights like these can destroy a career and that it takes a long time to move on from such debacles. But we should also remember that Liverpool's medical staff confirmed that Karius did suffer from a concussion after getting elbowed by Ramos. So what's happened to Karius since then? In the summer transfer window, Liverpool paid AS Roma £56 million for Alisson Becker in a sign that showed how little faith the Merseysiders had in their German shot stopper. The arrival of Alisson effectively ended Karius's spell as the number one, but more than that, he would never play for the Reds again. In August 2018, he was sent to Besiktas on loan. The move offered the player a chance to make a fresh start, far away from the hawkish glances of the English media. In fact, during his time in Turkey, Karius did very well before leaving in 2020. It was later found out that he was not paid four months of wages. A route back to Liverpool was blocked, and in September 2020, he returned to Germany, where he was signed on a season-long loan by Union Berlin. Karius did not play a lot for Union Berlin and was often sat on the bench watching Andreas Luther get more minutes on the pitch. Last season, Karius made only four appearances and kept three clean sheets. However, that wasn't enough to get him more minutes. Today, Karius is back at Liverpool, even though that might not last for long. 
The German's contract expires in June, and chances are that he will not be offered an extension. This means that the 28-year-old will have to find a new club in the summer. But is Karius really a bad player? Our data analysis says no. Throughout his career, which has seen him play in Germany, England and Turkey, Karius has made 558 saves, and his save percentage is 73.6. In fact, the last two seasons he actually played in the Premier League, Karius was fourth in terms of most saves. This goes on to show you that there is a good goalkeeper there. More than that, during his last season in the Premier League, Karius had a plus 1.7 score on the post-shot expected goals minus goals allowed stat, which basically means that he had an above average ability to stop shots. So to cut a long story short, Loris Karius was a man without luck in the Champions League final of 2018. The moment he was elbowed by Sergio Ramos, things changed. Maybe Jurgen Klopp should have realised the situation and replaced him with Mignolet because the two errors he made later on were definitely not the sort you'd expect from a keeper who has zero history of making such mistakes. A different scenario could have unfolded had Klopp made the call. But you can't really blame the German manager since he must have wanted to keep hold of his three available substitution spots. Unfortunately for Karius though, those 90 minutes are always going to define his career in a nutshell. The 28-year-old was never a bad keeper, but circumstances turned out in such a way that he will always be remembered as the man who handed Real Madrid another Champions League title. This is something he will have to live with for the rest of his days. But there is hope that he might be able to finally move on from the entire episode and ends up signing with a team that's truly willing to give him a shot at redemption. And as Liverpool get ready to take on Real Madrid in what can be considered a grudge match, Karius will be watching proceedings very closely and will surely be hoping that Alisson plays some role in helping him exercise the demons that descended upon the Olympic National Sports Complex on that fateful night in Ukraine.